just riding out the dissonance, you know? Can you play like a wrong note over this? That's music. That's good. Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> is today Friday? Yes. It is. Wow. It sure is. It's been a week. Welcome to this show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Welcome to this show. This is the JHS show. This is the JHS show. <clears throat> I'm Josh. How you been doing, Nick? I've been doing good, man. Yeah. Just great. It feels Wonderful. good to get back in on the live horse. Yeah. And as opposed to a dead one. <laughs> <laughs> Addison, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah. I'm doing well. I'm okay. drinking some blueberry tea today. Uh, nobody some cares. Okay. Joshua, how you okay. doing? Okay. Doing really well. Uh, today I'm using a Pentel P2 okay. oh, 9.9 9 9 no. millimeter uh, pencil. <clears throat> All right. You. Let's do the top down. We are here <laughs> to talk about a really great brand, good friend of ours as well. Um, and kind of a situation that's Addison's fault. Yeah, it is Addison's yeah. fault. We're talking about poison noises. Yeah, we are. Poison noises. The Parti poisonedest of particularly noises. Particularly this pedal. Let me zoom. Oh, I have a. Oh, yeah. I have this manual zoom Whoa, feature. I can't yes. really slide. 2023. This pedal. This pedal has a lot of chitter chatter. It does. Yeah. Yep. A lot of chitter chatter. It's called the Crook. Yep. And, um,. Addison you, has been the sole ambassador of this. Pedal. You kind of—I don't know about the sole. I—you kind of brought this brand <laughs> in. I remember you being like, "You played a crook," and I was like, "I have no idea what you're talking about." It's and a good pedal, man. How did you hear the crook? He uh, so Jordan had reached out to me. Gosh, on Instagram, how long ago was it now? Jordan's with us. Hello, what? Jordan. Hello, all the way from up, New everyone? York. Yo, he's in outer space. He, he is. is. Also, he, I like a lot of people bass. don't know this. Upstate New yeah, York. Yeah, I love this. He's in a UFO. He found a UFO oh, yeah. upstate New York. Right? Dude, yeah. Are you okay? That's that right. I mean, you know, I was I was excited that I could just find something that like you guys like are sponsored by for a background drop. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, <laughs> I, th You're I thought it was yeah. on brand. I also, I, I play I play Slinkies pretty much exclusively also on Let's like every go. instrument I play them on too. So all all poison noises pedals are developed with Slinky strings. So. Hey man, it's <laughs> it's not even Ernie Ball trivia time yet. Nope. No. <laughs> Right. So, so with, with, <laughs> I'm we're just getting it in while I can. We're both like, let's just jump right into this. It's good to have you here. Tell us, thanks, man. Tell us, well, tell everyone, like, how did you start this? And then what's this? What happened with Addison? Like, just walk through it because it's really funny. Um, sure. Just, so, just showing so, the pedals. Uh, this this whole thing started um, sometime around. January of 2020, um, I was managing my local guitar center at that time, and which is in Albany, New York. Um, and a couple months, you know, I, I, I started tinkering with some circuits. The first circuit I made was like a fuzz. Um, I actually, the joke is always that I actually built it out of spite to prove that I could like build a better fuzz pedal um, for like less than a dollar in parts uh, to my roommate. It, and then a whole company ended up spawning out of that eventually. <laughs> but we, uh, you know, a, a couple months after that happened, some things happened uh, in the world that that changed pretty dramatically for a lot of people. What and, happened? Um, I don't recall anything. You know, what major. that meant for <laughs> right? Yeah, nobody remembers that. But it was a pretty pretty pivotal time um, for me because um, what happened is we all got furloughed. Um, everyone at Guitar Center did um, sometime around March, and I had a lot more time on my hands, and I. Uh, I'm a, I'm a busy body and I wanted to, you know, kind of, kind of spend some time working on this thing that was really exciting to me. And I was having great luck with it on like all my first goes, like the first thing I put together was like a spider web of components that like, I like, <laughs> I ended up making it. And then I had to run back to guitar center because my amp was being repaired. So I like literally like drove home, built this thing that had to drive back. And like all my employees are like standing around with like this rat's nest of like transistors and resistors in my hand. And, uh, and we plugged it up and it fired up right away um that's a good feeling and i just kind of kept going from there you know yeah it's it's always great when it works the first time right you know mm -hmm. um and then a after that you know we started just tinkering with more and more circuits and when we finally happened upon what is now the crook what was the v1 of the crook which is kind of a different circuit than it is now they always evolve um you know we we tried to figure out really what we were trying to do is we were trying to find an alternative to like our favorite kind of overdrive that we were using at the time and i made it and then we started i remember me and my, my roommate rusky we were just sitting on the couch going through instagram looking at like celebrities and people who we thought would like like this pedal yeah and we just started messaging everyone like That's we messaged the way to do like a hundred people in like 30 minutes <clears throat> who and bit a bunch of them who bit immediately us, you know? like what, what are your favorite uh, um, bites there 
Say it again. Who are your favorites that like happened from that moment of connection? Artists from th- from that moment. The next day, the first three people that got back to us were was Brendan Benson from the Rack and Tours. Um, he actually ha- owns Crook Serial Number One, I believe. I think Amazing. he has wow, the first cool. one. Nice. Um, after that was Matt McJunk- Matt McJunkins, who was in like every band ever you know at the time we knew him from like his work with like Pussifer and a perfect circle and stuff like that i had seen him with eagles of death metal a few years prior i'm a big fan of his bass playing um got to actually meet him for the first time in october which was really cool, cool. um and the third person was uh lincoln parish from cage the elephant was the third wow. person we got cool. back to so all, all those people all those messages happened within like an hour was the fourth <laughs> like all those was people. the fourth person addison from the jhs <laughs> show <laughs> So by the time we had sent one to Addison, I think we were already like, like a year into this. I mean, yeah, back you, then, you're a little you know, oh, so were Addison's like... old news for you. Definitely. <laughs> Addison, well, you're, you're we nothing. Had, um, Here's the thing. We had, uh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, I don't know if any of these other artists have one with their face on it, and I do. So oh. I'm sorry. Oh. The only one. Just, just, to, just to, you know. <laughs> You, you are, in fact, the only one. In thank fact, you, you, I believe you, you have you. one of those in front of you right now. I do indeed. Yes, sir. Sorry. Continue your story. I just had to uh, All right, yeah. shame, no, no, I had good, to shame the fellas. Addison, Addison moment. Let's get there. Um, so, yeah. So, so what ended up happening is it's so funny, too, because, um, you know, I reached out to everybody, all the influencers. In fact, actually, I think I sent one to Josh. Oh, goodness. I don't know. Uh, Would have been um, maybe three or four months. But then I found Addison just popped up on Instagram as like a someone you might know. I don't know if maybe it was like because we had a lot of people in the pedal industry we both know. So I hit him up and he was like, email me here. I sent him one. And then I know he had played. I know he would said he had liked it. And then like a couple weeks went by and I'm sitting in a movie theater and I'm with my girlfriend and I get a message and it's from Addison. He's just like, hey, uh, Josh wants to put this on. 2021's or 2020 yeah 2021's new and notable or the stuff coming into the following year and I literally like stood up out of my seat in the middle of the movie <laughs> theater with like my hands in the air what and my girlfriend watching? was like what is going on it was that uh, the, the the King's Men nice. and uh, I had to go I had to go see it a second time because I after it was <laughs> halfway you, through the movie and I was like, not paying attention after that did you so. stand up um, and you stood up and it was like and like Celine Dion starts singing, like it was more like a bunch of people yelling at me to sit down. But yeah, in my head, that's what was going on. So what? What but, happened? Like, uh, what was the result? Because we love getting. I mean, we just love showing people stuff and the community. So what it was in the reality? We've never done this really on the show. Tell us what happened. We don't so, really ever know. So it first pops up on that show, and it was a live, and and I know. I think Addison wasn't there for it. And so, and, and Josh hadn't had like a lot of, you hadn't had a lot of experience with it yet. And you were like, oh, I wish Addison was here to try this. And then like the YouTube comments just like exploded with my fan base. And they were just like, no, you guys have to play that pedal. And then eventually they just like, like harassed you guys into it, I think is what happened. And, uh, and then it got plugged <clears throat> in and then Addison came back. It was on like three episodes after that. Yep. And then it was just like, Boom, Crook is now 99% yeah. of my business. <laughs> that is so, that's just how it was. That's you know? so cool to hear. Um, it was, it was crazy. Cause we, at that point I was the only person building. Um, I have two partners in this and that, and that's Connor and Jeff. And at that point, I had to show Connor how to like put together a crook because I just could not keep up by myself. That's so during awesome. that era, it was like half me, half Connor yeah. um, when you were getting crooks. And I'm not exaggerating. I mean, like in that first month, we probably shipped out 200 to 300 of them. That is like so that. Wow. freaking awesome. Addison, yeah, was, you're an influencer. Crazy. Oh, man. How does it feel awesome. to be a celebrity influencer? Um, it's a privilege. Do you have I mean, Instagram? Do I? Yeah. I do. Yeah, my Instagram is a d d i s o n. I don't really know where I was going. S a u v a n. I tell you what. Here's what we're gonna do. Let, let's do top down. Let me demonstrate the crook, and yeah. then let's do let's let's get it. We're gonna do a long like, I want to do a jam that yeah. kind of like harnesses uh, how yesterday felt 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 felt. Yeah, we have yeah. a stinger for that. Words you. is hard. I'm screwing this camera up. No, you you're know, doing great. You know, I'm a cinematographer at heart, but not yeah. really. There we go. <laughs> Jordan, I just want to say, you've, <clears throat> you've changed my bass tone forever, and I'm you really I'm grateful to you, and hopefully you've changed oh, other, people's, other people's bass tones. And that, here's the thing, too, about the crook. is like, I don't even play bass, and he has changed my bass tone. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing about the crook, too. No, like, it's, this is genuine. I actually really love it that much on bass. So if you haven't tried one on bass, please go buy one. So yeah. 
He just sent an initial one. I fell in love with it. It's that's really a, that good. That's a based comment. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> 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 so here's here it is. Um, topology wise, it started like t- talk about that briefly. Like elevator pitch. What do you compare this to? People like tube screamers. People like clowns. People like rats. It's closer into the in the hard clipper land, I think. It is a hard clipper. Um, yep. Actually, the one that you uh, have right there, that's a V4. That is the first one where there's actually a toggle switch. The switch mm-hmm. crew will actually put it in a couple of different clipping modes. So you actually have hard that's clipping, sick. no clipping mode software. Um, on that. But it was originally a hard clipper. Um, something a la OCD, like yeah. Boom Labs Drive, um, you know, yeah. no buffers, op amp. I, I love big, it. Big headroom. It does... This is one of those statements where it's like, whatever. It kind of will do whatever. It can yeah. pull off a screamery sound. It does a radish thing. The big clean rat sounds way better than a rat because it just has more headroom. Yeah, I love it. So let's let's demo out here. Real quick, 40 Watt, 40 Watt podcast said that they really love you, Jordan, and you were very fun to have on the podcast. Oh, man. Oh, man. Being on podcasts, you want me on your gear podcast? Just shoot me an email at shortpoisonnoises.com. Yeah. I'll talk about pedals all day. So here, here's Ma- here's Max Gain. That's like a plexi sound. That's a good sound. Yeah, I've heard it compared that way before too. And then plexi. yeah, and then if I go way down, like check this out, neck pickup, little. Let me kind of splash some verb. Splash some verb. I just went from plexi to that. Back to plexi, bridge pickup. It's yeah. cool. All right, let's turn on the remnant, which is the delay. Let's lock in on some kind of, uh, in tribute to Addison, some hyperactive killers-esque thing. Yeah, let's do it. I'm also gonna nice. use the crook on bass. Give them the bass tone real quick with the crook, on yeah, and yeah. off. All right, so here's here's my clean tone. Lame. So lame. Here's the crook. Dude, yeah. It's so good. It's a great. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Cuts through. Let's go. What key? You pick. Oh, D. Why not do D? It. Okay. Do you want to start a bass thingy? <laughs> Hi, um, Daniel sure. Danger. You do it. Okay.
All right, Jordan. What? Where did Jordan go? What? What? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what on earth, bro? I just swore, man. I didn't I'm a, I'm a lamb. Is that a bag of money? Bro, how much cash did you bring? <laughs> this is amazing. What, what a surprise! Uh, he's just... <laughs> huh? What? Hello, everyone. <laughs> what? What? What just happened? What just happened? This is this is real money. Yeah, that's real money. Yeah, that's real money, for, and it's for you. What? It's for me? Yeah, it's for you because. Why? Do you want to tell them why, Jordan? So, wait, that's the crook from the pedal. What? <laughs> this yeah, is what the is guy. Who's Jordan? I'm the crook. What crook? This is crook. The guy. Explain what's going on. So, what's happening when? We were invited to come here. We wanted to do something a little fun and exciting. And what we ended up coming up with was this new and improved version. Oh, my god! Of the Addison Crook, which is what Addison has right now. I was just texting you about that. You were here yeah, the whole well, time. You know. I was like, dude, this thing is so they've, sick. They've had me in the basement for three days. He, I've he's been legit been downstairs he, for like two and a half hours. Did you know this? Sucking the moisture out of yeah, I accidentally for slipped, sustenance. I almost slipped it one day. Oh, my gosh. I had zero clues. We this all knew wild. Addison. Oh, man. All right. I'm, okay. Tell wow. it. I'm excited. Kay. He's legit surprised. I, have no, I was like... I'm like, what? Hold so, on. So we, I've been talking with Addison about what it is he likes about the crook. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a couple of things he has mentioned to me is that, one, he wishes he could scoop more lows out of it. He wishes, apparently every time he's used on the JHS show, by the way, I just found this out, he's boosting the mids on it by like 10 dB, which is, I, actually, I hadn't even noticed, to be honest. So this new and improved crook has extra lows you can cut out, an active EQ, Actually, way more available highs also, as well as a mid-frequency band, because... <laughs> this is so cool! That's how Addison uses it. And that's exactly how I as use of it. right now, and just when active, we are selling a hundred of them on yes! noises.com. Let's go! I just dropped the link in the chat. Oh, that is so, so cool! There are a hundred of these, and you want to buy one. Yeah, you do. Yeah, on, go to the Poison Noises site. Link in the description. So 100 limited Addison Dude. Crooks. Dude, oh, that's awesome. And that's literally the royalty, I guess. What? Yeah. So every time you buy an Addison Crook, a Here. portion of those proceeds goes to Addison. What? So, and that's the... Why? why well, his, why? His, his likeness <laughs> rights, for one, but... <laughs> I um, cannot believe that. I'm kind of I'm shaking right now. This is so it's cool, man. It's to fuel man. him on, wow. on future endeavors and adventures and creative. Oh my gosh! You came to outlets. hang out. It's not every day that someone barges in a room and throws a bag of cash at you. And uh, it's not every day. Speaking of future endeavors. Oh gosh! Here we go. Here we go. One of the one oh, of the we're going perfect here. things we about we're... this day is that this is actually. Addison's last live stream oh, with us. Oh my yeah. goodness! I mean, there may be something later. There may be something he's in around. the future. Yeah, I know yeah. it's a bomb. We're dropping on you. It's a bomb. But Addison, man. do you want to tell us about oh, what's going on? This is an emotional. It's, it is a little bit. I'm gonna try and not like tear up, but oh man, this is so cool. I've had dreams for a long time to pursue um, audio more specifically, and so I'm I'm getting teary. Sorry. This is I uh, I had a conversation with Josh and Nick probably. It was back in January, three months ago now, three and a half, mm -hmm. three and a half months, something like that. And I was just like, hey, guys, I, th I feel like I need to do this thing. And that is to go freelance. So I'll still be in Kansas City, um, but I'm going to pursue audio more in depth. We're going to um, rope you in every once in yes, a while. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I'll still be around. Um, in the short term, it looks like what's uh, something called location audio. So that's like film set stuff. Um, but the long-term goal is more mixing, more music production, things like that. So I think you're going to keep um, mixing the jam. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll still, I'll still get to stay connected to the show in many ways. But. And we filmed so much with you yeah, that it's yeah, going to feel yeah. like you still work here for like at least That's a whole so other true. year. Yeah, That's people so don't true. realize we filmed yeah. stuff way out. So yeah. there's like yeah. Addison episodes all the way. Through oh yeah, the year. you're not even yeah. gonna, you're not even gonna miss him really. No, you're not even gonna miss no. him. But anyway, so, but I'm definitely not gonna miss him. Yeah, no. definitely not Joshua. <laughs> Oh, man. So I have one week left. Today is my second yep. to last Friday, and I'm super yep. emotional about it. One of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make, and um, I'm so thankful to all of you because I've learned so much. I've gotten to be a part of something I never thought I'd get to be a part of. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a privilege to build, to help build this thing, um, and also um, 
yeah, it's exciting for what's next. So thank you guys for it's been for awesome. your trust no, in me the last thank three Thank you, years, Addison. So thank you, man. Let, let all the internet give a round of applause. Yeah. Oh. We're so grateful for Addison. Thank He's you guys. literally been thank pivotal you. in well, apparently the success of the crook and also <laughs> JHS the show. <laughs> uh, so we are super super excited for Addison. Oh, but you know man. what? Enough what? of this sappy stuff. Enough Let's of it. Let's talk about. Pedal. That's right. Yeah. Poison noises. Right. That's Poison why we're noises. here. Poison. Poison. <laughs> Poison. Oh, All right. So, there should be. I can't believe you're here. This is so fun. There should be another one of these somewhere here that I sent to you guys at a serial number one. Uh, it's in the drawer, okay. second oh, to yeah. bottom drawer by over under. And the... that's something else that we should show real quick. Yeah, yeah. Bell can get it. Yeah, right there, second to bottom, I think. Yeah, I believe it's in there. Yeah, this is uh. This is a a wild and rowdy day of live stream. <laughs> I love it. It sure is, man. What yeah. are we look what are we looking for? I have number two. Is that that's not what yeah. you're looking for? Number is one it? is the one we're looking for. It okay, is okay. Cool. For Addison Aww, specifically. Come on. <laughs> I'm being showered today. Are those in your this drawer? Is wild. Come on, man. We have poison noises Let pedals all over the building. We have They're poison like, noises. I've got more than one drawer here. So, so that's many that by itself. Yeah. I think it's right in, behind me. They're in both. It's right behind me. You guys. So, while we're looking for that, yeah. I have some questions, and I want to throw down on something. Your rarest pedal. If we look at the top down, is that it? That's not it. Look right here. <laughs> what is this? I found it oh on boy. Reverb, and it doesn't exist. I'm going to zoom in. What is this? What is it? I can't even see. Oh, it's it's the oh. oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. I couldn't see it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh, the amp punch. Okay, so we made – that's technically – our rarest pedal, I guess. Uh, yeah. We we made fifty of those for a collaboration with a um, a local brewery by us, Single Cut, and uh, they made a beer to go with our pedal, which was one of the most fun projects I had ever worked That's on. We also cool. we also threw like a two day party in their brewery and just yeah. had like bands and stuff come through. And um, what it is is it is a fuzz and an overdrive in one circuit that is actually they run in yeah. parallel on a blend knob. And when Josh was asking me, hey, man, what are, like, your favorite circuits you've ever made? Tell me some of, about some of your products. I'm like, well, I have this one that's, like, one of my all-time favorite circuits. And uh, you'll probably never get a hold of one because they all sold out. And then I bought about, it two days later. Yeah. A week later, he ends up sending me a picture. That's, and it's a challenge me, accepted on it. So. Let me demonstrate this because it's super, super cool. We have... So the blend, oh my gosh, there we go. The blend, so this is overdrive side, and the drive pedal is kind of like a, like what would you put it in the category of? So, so, because right, so a fuzz is like a muff fuzz. It's, it's a, yeah, it's an op amp muff fuzz. That's what the fuzz yep. side of it is. The drive mm. side is, to be honest, it's kind of similar. It's like a low gain crook. That's yeah. Really, it's okay. a low gain crook that's a little darker. Um, and it has uh, input buffering. So check this out. I think on bass it would be insane. So here's that. Dr think of it as a crook in here. Drive in a master volume. And then this is the fuzz. And this blends. So all the way over. I have to turn it on. Still got the crook. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I was doing that thing. <laughs> yeah. So, always on. so there's the drive. Blend it all the way over. And then this literally does blend. So in the middle, it's both. I think that's a super cool circuit. You know, last I checked, there was actually like three of those on reverb. So there's, regular price. Yeah, so there's three on reverb. Are. Go buy them up. Now let's go back to this crook number one. So... This, it's all right. So, you know, to make my longer story longer, uh, when they, when we, we, me and Josh had been talking about this actually for a while because you, so many people have been asking me for the Addison Crook ever since a year ago when we made the first one. And, you know, eventually we came, you know, I said, John, I'm like, maybe I should just do a bunch of these. Like, that seems like a no brainer. And then it was like a week or two later, I got a phone call from Joshua and he was like, so Addison's leaving. <sighs> Did you know before I told you? Yeah, sorry. Oh, bro. <laughs> that's, that's that's the second time I've lied to you. The, the, well, the first time. The second time was when I was downstairs and I said I could hear you guys playing guitar, but I couldn't <laughs> just because I knew I was going to come up here anyways. But the, oh my gosh. He was like, he's leaving this day. 
how soon can you come? And I was wow. like, oh, maybe this time. He's like, all right, oh. how many can you make in that period of time? And we managed to make a hundred of them like day before I left. So, Dude, that's but so cool. And I, they're and by the way, they're built. They're ready to ship as okay. soon as oh, you yeah, get back. As soon as I make it back to upstate New York, they're okay. going out. There's a big pile yeah. of them in my living room right now. Yeah. So. But before we decided we were doing it so soon, I knew I wanted to make this. The Golden Crook. The Golden Crook. The golden uh, no crook, way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is this Bell, is you want to bring bro. it to him? Man. Yeah, yeah. This right, is amazing. Also, his has a glow-in-the-dark oh, pick in gosh. it instead of a regular one. Come on. For anyone who cares. Come on. But. Jeez Louise. <laughs> also, boys. Blown away. Yeah. Wow. Here's a Crook Addison edition for Nick. What? Woo! Here's a Crook Addison <laughs> edition for Josh. What? And me and Bell are going to fight over this one. Yes. Nice. It's to the death, oh actually. Oh, my God. So you guys. We're losing two JHS people. Yeah, I I'm love gonna, this. I'm <laughs> going to keep it on my dining room table and always Aww, look at it. Your wife's going to hate me. I love this me. so yeah. much. <laughs> it's going to be so great. Additionally, yeah. I also have serial number eight here that we're going to have to find a fun way to give away. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Let's show. do it. I haven't decided. Do you want to just pick a name? Let's do a jam. Uh, I have a jam I want to do. I want Addison to pick a name. Okay. You want me to pick a I name? I want Addison to pick a name. I have, I have a trivia question. Oh, yeah, do we that. We could ask a trivia question. Yeah, let's do that. that good? And I have a bad monkey alternative that you <gasps> okay. should buy oh. from him. Yes. So All how right. about let's do this. Addison, you ask a trivia question. Okay. We'll jam, and then after the jam, we'll give serial number eight away. Okay. Sound good? And okay. I'm going to jam on the knuckle sandwich right here. Let me zoom out. Uh, dude, oh my god dude lit. someone call martin scorsese because i think i found his new <laughs> his new camera operator right here knuckle sandwich we'll talk about it later it is a bad monkey alternative that you need. it's way better and i mean it's cool you'll see we'll jam on this yes okay. let's do it all right love it yep. josh lead us into jams Hey, can I get like Wait, a hold little, on. We need the trivia question. Oh, yeah, we yeah. need the trivia question. I'm going to set up a clon sound on the knuckle yeah, sandwich so okay. people yeah, can feel so, better about their lives. The trivia question for serial number eight of the Addison Edition Crook is, um, what, year was I, what year was I born? Uh, Throw it in the chat. I know the answer. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, I'll text you, bro. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Can I get like, a touch less guitar? Sure can. No offense. No, I'm... Oh, well, you're saying no offense to him. There you go. Try that, bro. That's the knuckle sandwich? Yes. It sounds so good. That's, oh, man. That's exactly how I said a con, which is what I did with the bad monkey. Hey, but this... Mr. The Crook, you made a good pedal. This does... <laughs> Like ten more things yeah. than a bad monkey can yeah. even do because of all the, the Man, settings. That's so cool. I'm also gonna use this affluence, which is this wild kind of ambient verb. We need to do like a space cave jam at like something loopy and space. Oh, okay. mm. Should I have my Yeah. Uh, yeah. Demonstrate your oh, pedals okay. real quick. You can do that quickly. I have Hall of Mirrors and the Skipping Stone. So that's a verb and a delay. On this mic right here. From him. Yep. And this is a uh, yeah. Poison you have an over the kick mic, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, so here's what that sounds. Like. Yeah. Okay. You start a drum loop. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Do E minor.
<clears throat> we'll talk about this in a second. Knuckle sandwich, but winner, uh, winner, chicken dinner. Is that still a saint? My kids say that. Addison, winner, winner, chicken. Yes, sir. You're a child. Do you didn't know how old I was? I'm not. No. I'm not that. I'm not a child. You're, I'm like. I'm somewhere in between. You're 17. Child. Well, I, um, yeah. I'm a teenager, bro. You. Addison was born in 1992. I sure was. Everybody. Did you you know that's and how old Nick is too, right? Yeah. And Driller. You guys. I, well, I know that we're, they're children. Okay. <laughs> you just come off as so mature and. Oh dang! Thanks. You know, put together. And they don't. And I'm not gonna miss you. Okay. okay. Shut oh up. man. Shut up. Shut you up. You guys were born during grunge. Yeah. Were yeah. we? I was a grunge baby. Children. Grunge baby. Yeah. Who's, Anyways, who's our winner? The winner is JRG. JRG. JRG, if yes. you are still watching, please email me at thejhsshow at jhspedals.com. Yeah. Send me your shipping information, and we are going to send you Addison Crook number eight. I number love eight. how committed wow. Jordan is to keeping the mask Seriously, on. Seriously, man. Such a good job. Jordan. He's, who? He's committed. Oh, Jordan's who still downstairs person? in the basement trying to be quiet. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> Jordan's tied himself. up in the testing room. Man. <laughs> so, so Knuckle cool. sandwich. Tell me about it. Knuckle sandwich as is... a representative of Jordan, right? Yes. Right. He told me all about it. Yes. It's it's like a uh, it's like a TS eight oh eight. It's a four five five eight ship. It is. Um, it can be a hard clipper, a soft clipper, or no clipper, just like the V four crook. Um, and it has switchable diodes also. So it has um, like the regular yeah. you know, uh, silicon configuration. It has uh, LEDs. Um, and there's one that's like kind of like a pseudo germanium kind of thing. Yeah. It's like made to sound like germanium. It's not real germanium. It's like bat forty ones or something. Bats. Yeah, right. You know, I love you a know good what bat. it is. <laughs> I love a good bat. Yeah, right. So you don't have to pay six fifty for this. No way. Which yeah. no one no one yeah. is. But yeah. Knuckle no one sandwich. Should pay six fifty for this is uh yeah, dude, you have such a good ear for drive. You know, All your you, you know what so really great. thank you very much. What really makes that thing shine for me is the clobber knob is a base control on it. Yeah. And what it actually dude. is, it's like the base control from the Timmy. Um yeah. which works great on yeah. pretty much every overdrive I've ever tried it with. Let me try it real quick. Addison, would you turn yeah. the clobber? Oh man, would I ever Ooh. Yeah. Is Blob. that is that pre or post gain? So what it, where it's actually happening is it like essentially there's there's networks in like the effects loop, kind of like where a tube screamer normally clips. Yeah. yeah. Um, and by feeding more of the ground signal into that, it makes it woolier and fuzzier. So it's not as much like an actual active EQ or a cut or anything like that. It's kind of changing the whole gain structure of the pedal. So yeah. Not, okay. Don't just get more low end. You get more breakup in the low end. Can you clobber me a little more here? Yep. You're fully clobbered, bro. That's it's such That's a cool. great pedal, so great. Where do we go from here? Just keep going. Well, what's do that? we so... know how many Addison Crooks have sold? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm too scared to check my phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't... I mean, if you click the link, I, I we can see if. Let's either, jump you know. to another jam while y'all figure that out. I want to play the yeah. Glut Cheeks, the Glut Cheeks right yeah. here. Yes, it's called Glut Cheeks. <laughs> this is a tone bender <laughs> slash with Oof. a toggle, a tone bender 1.5. Whoa. Dang. Like a fuzz face toggle to yeah. a tone bender 1.5. Okay. Wow. So you're going three to two transistors, right? Yes. Yeah. It's basically two there styles are, of the tone bender. There yeah. are 43 Addison Crooks left. Whoa. All right. Oh, All right. So Not for long. Y'all better move. You better start moving because they be gone. So All the, right. uh, the up position is like a tone bender. Down would be like a fuzz okay. face. And in the camera here, in case you're just tuning in, there are 100 limited Addison Crooks here for Addy Boy right here. Smile, Addison. Hi. Hi. And uh, they're in a description link below. You go over to Poison Noises site, not ours. And you click the link and you buy them. They're gone. They're gone. It's super cool. It's the Addison Crook. All right, back to the Glut Cheeks. Um, Whoa! Yes. Dang, bro. I understand why you named it that. Yeah. <laughs> Unmute your mic for us. There. It's that blue button. Yep, there it is. Oh, so no, you're good. So the um. I can choke. What? What? Ch he has a choke control, which is so cool for the circuit. That's a bias control, essentially, is what it is. Yeah. Watch. Like. Whoa. But you can find that sweet middle spot. What 
what a cool fight. So, so yeah, our first our first circuit we did was the gluttonous fuzz, and then every like fuzz we've done since then has been some kind of a glut derivative. Yes. So our Russian muff is the gluttonic. This is one of my you know. favorite graphics ever. This one. Which yeah. One's well, that glut, guy? Sheet, glut cheats glut yeah. cheats is fuzz face. That's the idea. Okay. Yeah. So, ah, right. God. It's also it's a butt joke. It's always a butt joke. <laughs> yeah. Got you. I I used the gluttonic on the last jam, which is you said Russian muff, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. That one rules on bass too. Oof. That's so cool. What's that? What's that delay you're messing with? I think that's the remnant. New. Yeah, the remnant. So, real cool story about that pedal. Um, I wanted to make something that was a la tape delay, and uh, I used to work in a couple of studios in New York City, and in one of them we had this old like knockoff tape echo thing, and the tape in it after just years and years of running through and and getting caught up, it was a piece of junk but we loved it it sounded great it started having you know how the tape echoes kind of warble a little bit and modulate it started having like these hard cuts in the mar- uh, modulation so i wanted to like kind of try to get that into a pedal so the bottom three controls of the remnant are control the lfo it's so, such a good delay so the bottom the bottom right knob on that yeah. will like kind of break the symmetry of, so, of the lfo and make it like hard cut on the modulation it's ooh. very strange oh. it's a, yeah so that's you like know. your mod depth and speed. Watch Wait, play it again. Oh, yes, please. Bro. Yes, please. Like that. That's the symmetry. Oh, that's so mm. cool. Add the, add the glut cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. That's It's just such a name. Yeah. The glut cheeks. cheeks. <clears throat> Let's jam on the glut Let's cheeks. Let's do that. Uh, I'm going to, like I do with all fuzzes, I usually use a claw, but I'm going to use a knuckle sandwich after the fuzz. To like boost the mids up and bring the fuzz out of the mix for a solo. Cool. I like this. I wish there was a grocery store with this kind of music. I'm gonna boost it with this knuckle sandwich. One more riff without it and then knuckle sandwich on. some real good that would good be a sick two in one yeah. not that you ever want to do two in ones but but maybe, if you did but maybe my buddy Jay's got a 
you know, the glut cheeks where that toggles on a foot switch. I'll Ooh. never make it for anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> but it exists. Please no. Please no. Wow, These this is incredible. We've covered like almost everything on the board. The delay is amazing. This spill. Let's talk about the spill. So that's like probably our second most popular pedal at really? this point. Yeah, I you know it's I mean chorus is in baby. People people like the warble right yes. now. They're they're into it. It's let's, back. Let's it's check back it out. Top down here. Let's listen to wherever I have it set. That's always Ooh. my chorus chord, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I love this. It feels like one of the like nineties, eighties racks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us about it. So um it is an FV one, which was my first jump yeah. into the digital domain. Um Pretty easy to learn language, anyone who's trying to learn how to do digital pedals, honestly. But I remember it was Super Bowl Sunday, and I called Connor uh, during the game, and I was like, dude, I got an FV1 pedal to work. And he's like, you know it's the Super Bowl right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, but I'm about to give you 12 different pedal ideas. So we actually have five different pedals that run on that same format, and what it is is it's eight different effects in a box. So, um, oh. But it'll be eight different courses, eight different phasers, eight different delays, you know, reverbs, okay. whatever. Um, but that one's got some wacky stuff in it. There's like, you get towards like the end of those, uh, you know, the, the end of the last eight and they get, they get pretty wacky. Um, it is analog pass through that top left knob will give you total analog dry signal um, when turned all the way to the left and it'll go full wet so you can just use it as a vibrato as well. Let's, Let's go, vibrato. It's great, great on bass too. Really, really good yes. on bass. Most of, most of our stuff kind of has a bass focus because that's what I play more of than anything. Cool. This is so like the Skullfield thing. Yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah. Let's do like a Nagogo jam. Somebody's mic is not muted. Check. It's mine. Check. There we go. That's a great rotor. I'm going to turn on the crook in a second. Thank you. 
Kim Jones is paying us twenty dollars to hear just Addison and Nick. Love it. I'm not offended by that. Take it away. I got an idea. I play Schofield stuff. We make money because they don't want to hear it. And I get to do nothing. It's the ultimate scam. That's the glad cheeks. Yeah. double ending oh my goodness god the glut cheeks <clears throat> okay all of that the oh jordan spill? it's like you make some amazing yeah. pedals thanks guys <clears throat> man yeah, they're again. good they're you, you so make, you make amazing pedals. thanks <laughs> nick didn't you write man. a song was oh there, yeah i did write like a song a, i was so inspired like um it, wow. yeah hold on I, let me just pull up the lyrics what was the down. you had like a you said hey josh when we get in there i was like i need some like kind of like like what if the edge wrote it Ooh. Yeah, like that. That's really that, that's right, right. This is a that's a good riff. Yeah. Something like something like uh Oh, okay. Look at this photograph. Interesting choice of words. Every single time I do, it makes me laugh. Interesting. How did your eyes get so red? And what the hell is on Joey's head? Can we go to the chorus? <laughs> Every memory I have of looking out the back door. I had all my photo albums spread on my bedroom floor. It's hard to say it, but it's time to say it. Preach. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'd say it's what? kind of like I was thinking like it's like talking heads. Trash. It was like talking <laughs> heads meets yeah. like uh you two. And those are the only two references. Absolutely. I've known you as a songwriter for years, but you're yeah. really blossoming. Thanks, man. That, I just that Sunday you know. bloody photograph by Nickel. <laughs> How did you know I called it that? <laughs> Wait, Nick Oh that oh, Nick oh L Lax back. Oh my what? god. Oh my what? God. Nick Lauk's back. Nick Lauk's back. We need to back? shut it down. We need to shut it down. Oh boy. Oh boy. We'll oh. never get over this. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. That either ruined. Oh boy. That either ruined my life or it made it better. I'm not sure. I think it I made guess. it better. It's crazy. Everyone's just returning the crooks now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Ernie Ball trivia time. Whoops. Let's do. Do we have a trivia for Ernie Ball? Do we have <laughs> trivia? Oh! <laughs> Today's the part of the show where we ask you, Ernie you got Ball it. trivia. You got it. Ernie Ball <laughs> trivia. 
Um, how did Ernie Ball? <laughs> there's a there's an energy today that's never been here before. That's because on there's camera, a thief uh, in this room. Huh? You can't. Um, <laughs> how did Ernie Ball realize the need for more flexible guitar strings? Oh man! In That's the it. comments, you get a box of strings if you get it right. You get a whole box of whole strings box. So, from Ernie Ball. The first person to answer correctly in my chat server, not yours, mine, gets a whole box of strings from us plus Ernie Ball. I'll ask the question again: How did Ernie Ball realize the need for more flexible guitar strings? I feel like Addison should be counting money for or something, and then <laughs> Addison doesn't know how to be gangster. We've we've tried, no, but man. you know what the best part about the big bag of money was? Was I went to the bank and I and I was like, I gotta find really annoying denominations to put in that bag because I don't want it to just be like easy to count. And Golly. I'll tell you right now, the worst way to ask for that is you to did go, or Jordan did. Well, Jordan. Well, no, I mean I did. <laughs> you think Jordan walks into the bank? Out of the two of us, which one do you think walks walks? Into Crook. It? You ever seen the Muppet Show episode that has Mark Hamill and Luke Skywalker in it together, mm -hmm. and they're two different people? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> how but, how much money is this? Do you have any idea? Are you I know exactly me? how much it is. I I I got it. <laughs> but well, yeah, I'll yeah. Tell you well, Jordan got it. This is this is this is the wrong this is the wrong way to ask for it at the bank. Okay. Because I wanted to get like you know what would be in like a till like at a bank if someone like robbed the bank. The wrong way to ask that was, hey, if I was to rob you right oh now, oh my god, that is the wrong way to ask that Did, question. Tell me you, that Jordan didn't say I'll, that. I'll give you, I'll give you one worse. You know what's, you, you know, you know what's really way worse than that. Were you is, wearing this outfit? <laughs> no, but imagine going through TSA with this in your bag and a big Bro. bag full of money, and then when Bro. they, and then when it goes, and when you get stopped. And then they look at you. I got. I actually got stopped because I had toothpaste in my bag. All you have to say, but nowadays no. you just say, "I'm a YouTuber." No, That's no, no. True. This is the wrong thing to say. You ready? <laughs> they go. This might make some people like worried. And I go, you think you're worried? I'm going to be the one wearing it, getting caught on camera tomorrow. Oh my gosh! Which is not, again, the wrong thing to say. <laughs> and I didn't even mean it like that, but you know. That's amazing. You made it through TSA though. <sighs> yeah, they were just like, "Oh yeah, that that makes sense." And then you know. Oh my so. gosh. So I did. I did spread it all out on the on the hotel it, bed. It's a quarter mil. To my hotel it's today, a quarter but. million. This is a quarter mil. Yeah, roughly. Beck, are you watching right now? <laughs> How many are left? Do we know? Oh yeah, I, actually, I have a live tracker now. So Again, there's a link in the description. There are 100 Addison Crooks. If you're not aware of what that is, it's a special edition crook that people have asked for for over a year. It's Addison's. It's hilarious. It's an amazing pedal. It's We've so demonstrated good. it. I forgot to mention the new one runs at 18 volts. Also, Yo. I didn't mention that before. Listen, y'all, do that. You can boost. What is you said in between eight and nine hundred hertz? Yeah, it's it's closer to eight than nine for sure. That's but perfect. That's, that seems to be the sweet spot. You know what else runs at 18 oh volts? <laughs> A clon. Oh. Has nothing to do with this. I just like saying. <laughs> just wanted to say you that. made Josh Triller really happy with the 18 volt thing. Yeah. Also, He's don't stoked. plug 18 volts into your clone. It mm. runs on 18 volts by itself. Yeah, I, I feel like that needs to be said. <laughs> internal charge pump. <laughs> right. All right. How many are left? 23. Wow. I'll give a hand, nice. of, yes. a hand clap here. The internet, the pedal community, <laughs> Addison, the crook. Poison noises. Poison we wouldn't noises. be here without you. Ugh, Jordan downstairs. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Man. Whoa, this is just amazing. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you right now. Oh, you know, you, I don't know if you guys have ever had imposter syndrome before. Sure. But the only Every thing that day. makes it worse yeah. is not wearing your own clothes. I'll tell you that right now. That's the only thing that could possibly. You're literally worse. dressed as an imposter. <laughs> right. Yeah. Literally. So, but it's been so great. Thanks so much for having me, guys. Let's give You're those welcome. strings away. Yeah. I think we need to do. Uh, we'll we'll give these strings away and do one more jam and Let's then get the frick out of here. I'm yeah. so I want a burrito so bad. Let's go get a burrito after this giveaway yes. and change. Um, one more time. This sounds just so the internet knows. This sounds very similar to a question we've asked before. It is not the same question, so don't be mad at me. Uh, be mad at this guy. <laughs> What year was the famous Ernie Ball? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a wrong question. How did Ernie Ball realize the need for more flexible guitar strings? In his guitar teaching studio, the string gauge was too thick. He couldn't bend the strings. What a question. That's, uh, a, yeah. that's a good, wow. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Atkins, anyway, oh. you're the winner. Ernie Wait, Ball was a person. Please email me at the JHS show at jhspedals.com. Send me your shipping info. If you are not Thomas Atkins... Don't email. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> I'm putting this tractor Come beam on, in front of stuff it shouldn't go in front of because I it's my favorite graphic of all of his pedals. <laughs> Just it's try a, stuff, It's a man. UFO K 
cow abduction scene. Go to the site. Prowl through those pedals. They're so good. All right. Let's see here. Let's do a key besides E minor. What do you want to do? You pick. It's this is your your show. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh boy. You start it with Nick. I'll come in. Tell me the key. Okay. Uh, we're going A. Why not? so much thanks so much for watching this delay is louder thanks everyone bye so bye. 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 Bye, bye 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 bye